Hey everybody, Spidey here, and as always, I hope you're having a marvelous day. We've got a special episode tonight. Before the Marvel show, I've got some special guests here. The one and only Matt and Simone. Eh? We, <laughs> he's getting freshened up for you, making sure he's well hydrated. Matt, Simone, how are you guys doing this afternoon? Hi. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. First of all, uh, we're doing great. I mean, I am doing great. I don't know about, I, I don't know nothing about men. When Simone is in the United States, it's always a good day. So I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you are over here. You're back, you're back in stateside. What's got you over here? Um, can you pop up the volume a little bit? Believe it or not, vacation. For, yeah. for the first time in my life, it's it like for the second time in my life, this is like a full-time vacation because my wife and my two kids, uh, they never came to New York. They never, they, they actually never, they never came to, um, to the States. So my wife, she start to break in my <laughs> okay, yeah. my brain about this a few months ago. Now, Justin, you have to understand that if I had like a list of a thousand cities yeah. in the entire world where I would where where I would be uh, uh, asked. Where do you want to go for a vacation? With all the love in the world, New York would be at the very last spot. Not because <laughs> I don't love New York. On the other hand, I adore New York. I, I consider New York like a second house. But I've been and I spent mm. so much time in my life in that city that that was naturally the it would have been naturally the very very last choice mm -hmm. sure enough uh for my wife and my kids it was their first choice and being in the adorable dad and, <laughs> and husband that i am such a great dad yeah you made the right choice you i made, made the, the right, right choice. choice so we spent the first six days in new york which by the way they were we had a great time uh jokes oh. aside New York is getting noisier and noisier and, and, dirt, and dirtier and dirtier every single year. But then be said, it's still the center of the, and it still feels like it's the center of the world. And especially now, um, jokes aside, we took a whole day at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, yeah. wow. which for me is like, Deeping, deeping myself into a state of uh, a different state of mind. This time, especially, I came out of the visit with a refreshed soul, I would say, not just oh, wow. body and mind. Yeah. We really spent a long time. There was a special um, Cypresses. Cypresses, yeah. uh, Vincent van Gogh Cypresses exhibition. We went through, and I saw, I saw uh, the cross Salvatore Dali crucifixion oh. mm. in person for the first time. I mean that one with the cube, with all the cubes. Uh, there is a second title of the uh, painting, which in it's in Latin, Latin, and I can't remember. And it was just, I spent at least one hour, jo I'm not joking, like in front of that painting. I And I want to kneel down, you know, like. Uh, so you were having a spiritual experience, it sounds like. Yeah, I mean, this, I got to be honest, this time around, maybe because of my family and everything else yeah and maybe because matt was not around me I was <laughs> a, uh, it's been really special and it touched me in a very different way uh other than the other three times that i went to the museum and once again he made me realize the importance of being and going to exhibition in person mm. and see the paintings in person alive because it's yeah, just I think, a completely I mean, it's, it's such a great thing and i think you know 
while scans are an amazing feat of technology yeah. and they and they do give you a great look into what it is until you have an original in your hands and you or you know at a viewing point you can see it with your own eyes you don't scans don't pick up the brush strokes or the you know the vibe that the piece gives off or you know whatever the life of the yeah piece. yeah the lifeblood of the piece i mean mm -hmm. It, we went to a small art store today and he, he got so excited just being around the paints and the brushes at the <laughs> art store. So I couldn't imagine him right. the Metropolitan. So uh, when he told me that, that, you know, he was really jazzed up, that's good for all of us who uh, love his art because that means Simone is recharged and uh, has got some new energy to uh, go back with and uh, re-pick re up his work, which I know he's looking very much forward to. Oh, yeah. I can I mean, it's um, the whole idea basically of having this trip which is going to be in the end uh two two weeks long is going to be a was to be able to be back home like with full fresh energies even creative energies and yeah. you know, and then sitting back to my drawing board and my easel with a new spirit and and a different uh, renewed energy, and I can mm -hmm. literally uh, wait to start drawing and painting again. It's something that uh, when I when I spend more than a week, ten days away from, mm -hmm. it's I'm start to missing like like I'm missing water. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's true. It, it, so that, that that's what originally brought me then. We had this phenomenal five, I would say, despite Matt, uh, uh, we we had like uh, five, six, five phenomenal days here upstate in, can I say the name of the place? In Wilson, yeah. in Buffalo, uh, right on the Lake Ontario, which is like a few meters wow. off. It's a phenomenal, peaceful place. And um, so my kids, they got to fish. They got to fight a lot. They're good boys. They're good yeah, boys. boys. They're good boys when 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 are not around. <laughs> when, when are close to you, they're not that good. But and we have a very special news that we're gonna uh, we're gonna break tonight. So Mac Ditulio, he's got his first. Simone Bianchi's uh, youngest son, Lorenzo, commission a black belt. So Simone's youngest son, he's seven? Eight. It's eight. He's eight. Lorenzo. And uh, he brought a sketchbook, and uh, I was looking through it when he was mm -hmm. out, and he does all beautiful, like, really good anime characters, like Naruto, Kakashi, Hunter x Hunter. Wow. Uh, Gone from Hunter x Hunter. He had... Um, uh man uh minato uh vegeta he he loves drawing like anime style characters so i said what's it gonna take for you to draw something for me and so i was joking around with him and simone goes i bet if you offered him a pack of american pokemon cards he would do a drawing for you so today we went to target i got him a pack of pokemon cards yeah. and he drew a black hole for me no light box no pencil no nothing it's better than anything i've ever drawn in my whole life and he's eight <laughs> So it is genetic. Uh, he's got it for sure. And the <laughs> best part is what Simone told me, and you can see, is when he's drawing, he's happy. He just loves yeah. to draw. So, you know, and that's I think that's very important because I've had many conversations with Simone, and when I asked Simone, you know, what do you do for fun? And he says, I draw and paint. And then I said, well, what do you do for a living? And he says, I draw and paint. So then you got you got a good living. You know what I mean? I love um, that. What you love and, and you're and you're happy that's what's most important and you're getting paid and, oh yeah, so you're getting paid. paid too yeah, <laughs> yeah it's on um, that's special and to, to think that you're spending time with us uh while you're on vacation like uh you know it's really humbling really appreciate you doing that uh, i know you have an announcement and you got some stuff that you want to share as well and looking forward uh to seeing that also just to think about you know for me seeing your work recently feels like you've been in peak form and the idea that you're going to uh, be able to even level up from there after being refreshed and, and, and like reinvigorated uh, is really exciting to think about. Thank you. I wish, I hope I will be able to do that, but uh, it's, it's not just a matter of how good my artwork 
will look like as lo- as much as it's important to keep this spirit. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. to keep um, the joy, the pure joy of drawing and paintings and keep having the same expression of my face as my 80 years old Lorenzo son uh, expression, the same expression he had like an hour ago doing his his very first first paid commission. <laughs> one, 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 one Pokemon it was, it was a great deal for me. Me was yeah. happy. Yeah, mm-hmm. just make sure that next commission for me is not going to be one Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like I, a really special piece to have, Matt. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, can't beat that. But yeah, so we're you know very excited. I wanted to thank you for you know having us on, and I know it was always uh, you know short notice. But you know uh, when I brought it up to Simone, and I said, oh yeah, Justin, they all from the breakfast, and yeah, of course, and uh, you know we, we did it at MegaCon, so um, it was something you know that we we felt like you know we've done before, we've really enjoyed it. Simone has always had a good time, and you know he's not in the states too often, and to also have a chance to show off some uh, mm-hmm. original sketch commissions that Simone's just done on APs. Um, it's a, you know, it's a great opportunity to just get involved into the community, let some new collectors see some things that Simone has been working on and, um, you know, maybe to be able to get a piece from him in the near future. Who knows? Yeah, absolutely. And we got a lot of people in the comments here saying hello. Uh, just throw hello, a hello everybody. Yeah. Saying hello to Simone. I, I did um, see, uh, Tim say when Simone was talking about New York, he ain't lying. <laughs> that made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tim, exactly. you're standing up and dirtier and dirtier. He put in the comments, not lying. He's not lying. <laughs> yeah, he's not lying. Uh-uh. Uh, shout yeah, out. Got, got one of my good out friends, there. Sam. Yeah, thanks, Sam. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we got William and Keith here. Free comics. Uh, I mean, lots, lots of people hanging out here. We got okay. Mr. J, cool. Jacob. We got Jay Brian. Wow, man. Brian. Marvelous. Yep, Marvelous Beavers. We got... Uh, Sky Soldier. Simon Juventus. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not really. Let's <laughs> rip our 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 oars. Yeah. No, no, uh, no, no, no. You got the wrong team for me. <laughs> Who is it? It's now. I'm a, a huge soccer fan. I am watching a lot of game, especially I listening. I'm, I am listening to a lot of games while drawing and painting. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I don't really have a special team in my heart. But I do have a special team that I can't stand, and that is Juventus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you love no, and hate one. I got it. No, no, no. It's just um, <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. I, I when, when any any Italian teams, they play for any European tournaments or whatever. I always uh, stand for any of them. Even Juventus. Okay. Yeah, and I, I just saw you know I see a lot of people coming in and thank you guys for tuning in. I saw Melfi. Uh, shout out to him. You know he was at the most recent breakfast. So it was great seeing him. Where is Luis? Uh, okay. Luis was it? Yeah, Luis is in the chat. Uh, uh, Ash Gonzalez just popped in. So thank you guys so much. And um, let, let's get into showing some of the art. So Brian is in too. I don't know if I've saw if I've seen Brian. Um, but you know we did uh, we did a sketch opportunity. Um, earlier in the year with Simone and I don't know if you know anybody's been following I, Simone. I don't wanna, yeah, yeah, we don't want to use our sponsorship with Gatorade. <laughs> no, you said me. Chick-fil-A is sponsoring him, Gatorade sponsoring us. We're all set. Um oh Brian, hey, how you doing, man? Yeah, he's here. And Ciao, he, Brian. And he said, uh, you know, when Simone does these, we opened it up earlier and he, if anybody's been following what Simone has been doing, uh, you know, on his social media, he just had a massive exhibition open. Hey, hey, what up, baby? hey nice. My work. brothers. What's going oh, on? Oh my man? God. It's always great to see you, my man. You too, my brother. It's good to see all of you. I got three of my good homies on the same, uh, on the same screen. That's a blessing, man. It's good to see you guys. Good to see you too, man. Yeah, oh, and I love, accent, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my. I love your accent. I love your accent. I would give anything to to steal your accent and use it just for interviews. Yeah. <laughs> just for interviews. <laughs> Ciao, Luis. It's, it's a pleasure. You look good. It's good. I'm excited. I'm excited for the announcement. I'm excited to see some cool stuff, man. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Trying to okay. su- support and, and, and show some love. 
Oh, thank we'll, you so much. We'll leave it to Mr. DiTullio. Yeah, and you know what Simone's been doing? He just had a massive exhibition open up uh, in Livorno. 125 plus pieces. 125. Yeah, yes. 125 plus uh, pieces under one roof, essentially, throughout his career. Um, very special. And I, I want to give Gloria and Barbara, um, Simone's Gloria's sister and Barbara, who works for Simone Bianchi Art, uh, to, they took a ton of time with the curator to help make this exhibition happen. I mean, the amount of literal man hours that go into it to making something like that possible is very impressive. And, you know, the collectors that donated pieces and the pieces that Simone created, uh, it's a great, you know, representation of his work. But we did a sketch opportunity earlier in the year. And then when the exhibition started rolling, you know, obviously the exhibition was taking precedent, making sure yeah. everything was, you know, getting done. And then the exhibition got launched, what, two weeks ago? Or one week? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And then Simone was able to finish the uh, AP sketch yes. card commissions. Thursday. Wednesday. No, Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, two weeks ago. And uh, it, it's an absolutely beautiful exhibition. If you have a chance, check out Simone's um, Instagram uh, or Facebook. Gloria and Simone have been posting some great things on there. But these sketch cards are, are uh, done. And what's very impressive to me about Simone is to be able to go uh, back here. These are uh, from my personal collection, but I thought it might be oh. cool to put them up. Um, these are the originals from Marble Masterpiece 2018 Battle Spectra. These in, are in silver framing. In silver frames, <laughs> silver. That's you know, I'll just reframe everything in my whole house because he doesn't like it. So that's no problem. I'll take, I'll take, repaint the house, whatever needs to be done. But these were two of the nine that were 18 by 24. So massive sizes for originals. And then for him to be able to transition to, I don't even know the dimensions of a sketch card. What is it? Two by yeah, four. Two by three. Yeah to two and a half by three and be able to transition down and still be able to paint amazing and give the detail um, is really extremely impressive to me. And I know Simone uh, said the last time we spoke, he said it's a great exercise in versatility to be able to go from something much larger to be able to shrink it down and not lose quality and not lose the ability to still give the piece soul. Um, so I thought it'd be really cool not to just share these on Instagram or social media, which I'm sure they will be, you know, through my, you know, my channel on the Tulio Art Collective and also Simone, Simone Bianchi's, uh, you know, official Instagram. But I wanted to show some of them and kind of break them here live uh, because they're just so beautiful. And for those of you that know me, I'm an original art collector. Uh, I'm not necessarily a sketch collector, but when I got these uh, in my hands, I was like, wow, we've got to do something to, you know, show some people, uh, you know, what Simone is capable of. And he hasn't done a ton of sketch cards, you know, recently as far as commissions. So these are pretty special. And we wanted to break some of them today and get you guys to take a look at them and have Simone be able to give you a little bit of uh narration of you know you know the piece and what he was able to do and i think we've got seven eight nine of them whatever it may be and then uh we'll make a little bit of announcement at the end and we got a giveaway for uh for everybody in the chat so um oh, yeah. if you want to bring up the first one and we'll let simone uh yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna start with a banger i mean they're all bangers but... <laughs> let's get oh, to, my let's, God. Yeah. let's get to a bigger screen let's get to a bigger screen yeah you want to find us um you know for a little bit or whatever you need to do. Or for the rest of the entire interview. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to keep you all on there. That's I, funny. Wanna, I want it where everybody can see it though. That was that was not big enough. That That's enough insane there. looking dude. Wow, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. This is a uh, it's carnage. Wow. It's carnage. Yes, it. yeah, so what I did, I how many are there like about 15 we did 15 16. slots the last time um and we've got eight or nine of them that we're debuting tonight um and this was we had some duplicates you know some collectors wanted the same character sure was, but this one was the only carnage and i thought it was it was just absolutely phenomenal i mean he looks amazing he looks like he could eat your whole head off it's so cool. <laughs> and i'm what i the way I uh, I went in doing this. It's the same way I use when I have to do like more than one pieces at the same time. Like let's say a series of five to ten uh, covers or five to ten cards, like the one I did last summer. Which, by the way, they didn't out. They're, They're not out yet. Yeah, but 
We're uh, aware. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did the, a very, very loose pencil first uh, of all of them, all the 15 of them. So that way, uh, I it's like I'm trying to give my brain a lot of room and a lot of space to breathe, to breathe and to come back with a fresh eye when I keep the same car yeah. uh, on a second time. And if I'm just a simple, like a uh, simple series of a, a doodle, a simple mm -hmm. sequence of lines, mm -hmm. I can pick up the lines that I like the best and start redefine the pencil a little bit or even better and i did that a lot through this past 15 i start painting and fixing correcting something that i'm not happy with so you have straight with the pen with the brush. Around like a rotating yeah where you're moving them so you're not getting laser focus into one uh, absolutely and hitting a, and hitting a wall yeah yes they, i mean they were 15 I did a very loose layout straight on the car without even thinking of an, of, of just the first thing that I had in mind of that character, mm -hmm. really, really as natural and as fast as possible. Then I was uh, like moving to the next one and doing the same thing. Then like the carnage, like, I don't remember the, um, I don't remember, uh, the order the order exactly the order that i follow for the characters wise but i surely use the same uh approach for every for each and every one of these cards so it was just a very loose pencil put it away a second very loose pencil of the other character we're gonna have yeah later same 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 thing so again when i when i when i would have come back on the same card i would have had like a very uh new eye you know and i can start using watercolor first which is something that i'm doing much more often these days and I use watercolor as a first layer. Like an underpaint? Like an underpainting uh, color scheme or color mm -hmm. palette. And then I kind of reproduce what, what I came up with with a watercolor in acrylics uh, yeah. at the end of the process. So <laughs> if I keep talking yeah, this no, much for each card. We'll be here. <laughs> But you see, I think this carnage might actually be a good example. And I can show you I have the real card in my hand yeah. here. Yeah. Well. We'll make um, you big yeah. again for that. Ooh. That looks ridiculous. Yeah, it looks really good. And I think what Simone is talking about is you can see the watercolor up through the eye here. I think yeah. that's where you can really see. And then the acrylics kind of make it pop and give it dimension. So I, I chose this one because I thought this was just such a really cool, um, you know, kind of in your face type of, uh, of card. And I just love the way it turned out. So um, I, I, you know, I, were you happy with this one? You like the way it turned out? That could I'm be happy with all of them. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Love it, love it. Um, I, no, no, I, I have to say, I did a lot of this original sketch, seriously, and I told you this before coming um, on one of our call, uh, that I thought that these 15 are the best I ever did because yeah, he said that. With, any other, with, uh, with any other sizes and medium and stuff, I mean, the more I work with this, little guys you know in terms of sizes little uh pieces of paper mm -hmm. the more i get uh familiar mm -hmm. and confident with the with the with my my own you know like space limit mm -hmm. and what i can and especially what i cannot do mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking yeah. about when i say what <laughs> i cannot do so, if so you who is Real yeah, okay, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Real quick, <laughs> I did want to address something that I, I think it was Dre Studios, the, the chat was moving, but he yes. was talking about a um a virtual class. Mm -hmm. I don't know I don't know anything about a virtual painting workshop, but Simona is doing an in-person workshop oh, in, yeah. in Florence in September with uh, another phenomenal Italian artist, Lucio Perillo. It's true, but Lucio 
is coming, maybe is coming, and it's not doing the work. No, but I want to be yeah, clear. Yeah, right. in, in my, it's very likely that Lucio is coming for the for uh, the workshop because the place is owned by him. Yeah. But he's gonna be just a, on the side and painting some something for his own deadlines. Yeah. But it's very likely that it's coming. Again, you never know with Lucio because he lives in, in, in five time in five different cities all over the country, all over the world, actually, literally. But it's very likely that he's coming. I'm glad that Matthew brought up this so I can answer the question that I read. And um, uh, so the workshop, yeah, Dress, dress you. Dree Studios. Nice. Um, yeah, we we're gonna have this. Uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna be virtual. It's gonna be in person. It's gonna be in Florence, which per se, is yeah, so more, beautiful. It's just a stunning location, and it's twenty five minutes away from where. It's I a live. bit of a drive. <laughs> it's a bit of a drive. Yeah, <laughs> sure. what, what about this? What about this? You swim there. Yeah. You can. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a drive. No, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I understand it's far away, but uh, um, we do actually have some, I don't know if two like, or three American comings and some other guys, one coming from France, one coming from UK. So it's, it's open to everybody as long as we hear a certain number. Yeah. After that number, we need to close yeah. the community subscription to yeah. the to the close workshop. The list. Close the list, and and we move to the next workshop. But and then I I'm I'm done with the workshop. It's gonna be very intensive. It's gonna be eight to nine hours every single day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it's gonna be like a non-stop talking about the first day on Friday penciling penciling and composition and anatomy saturday uh, and sunday is going to be non-stop painting and with me trying to uh bring a, a single piece to life from scratch to finish and and i i think i'm looking forward to it i'm extremely excited especially because being a drummer myself i see that it's happening so more often now that even amazing, very famous international drummer, they used to do like this kind of more uh, intimate mm -hmm. workshop. It's, it's, even in Tuscany, you know, they ran a beautiful countryside house and they do this, you know, that you play like for three days and you do practice for three days nonstop. Yeah. It is, I, I, gotta, I gotta be honest, uh it's gonna be exhausting not just for me mm -hmm. but no no i mean seriously i had one girl very nice girl uh at the exhibition she was almost scared to ask and said simone i'm thinking about joining your workshop but how hard is gonna be said and i and i told her honest like brutally honest it's gonna be hard it's not going to be me like, you know, joking around or wasting time. It's going to be like nonstop practicing and studying from start to finish. So, well, if, it's, it's, I mean, if, yeah. you, if you're willing to do, to you know, like to face something like that and you have the energy, good. Otherwise, it's, it's not the workshop for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and I think it's a, it's a very rare opportunity. You don't see too many, uh, you know, times where this can happen. So I think doing it as a, uh, a patty cake or a layup for American terms, you know, to go in there and make it just easy wouldn't do the, the customer, the person coming any justice. So uh, I just wanted to answer that question, but I did, uh, you know, I did see the black cap popped up on the screen here. So uh, the reason why I, uh, I talked or I picked the black hat and I wanted on here is because I saw one of the comments actually, and I couldn't remember who it was at this point, but I thought this image, what you, this illustration, what you put on here went perfect with the cardstock. I love that you use the lines of the the card, you know, where her hair stops and it goes over. Cause sometimes artists paint over the logos, they go around. So I felt like number one, she fit beautiful on the card stock, but number two, I loved the uh, white out and the texturing you used for her like fur around her neck to, mm -hmm. give, it, to give it perception and depth. So, um, you know, I, I wish she was, you know, in more Seth or X. I think she's absolutely an absolutely stunning character. 
And uh, I was very happy that this was on the commission list. It was one of the ones I was most excited to see Simone do. And I thought it turned out absolutely amazing. Yes. Yeah, I agree. It's funny. <laughs> Her face is gorgeous. The eyes just really pop. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Eyes, the, nose, the perspective of her slightly looking up. Is yes, like, exactly. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and, and the other thing is, believe it or not, this is maybe my, the, the third, third time in my entire working life that I draw and oh print black hair. It's one wow. of those. Yeah. That's staggeringly too low. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, that's uh, why I was excited because all the time I've been working with Simone, I've never seen him paint a full figure or, you know, a sketch card or anything. So I was very excited to see the way this one turned out and it didn't disappoint. It's, I think it's really beautiful. I think it's really beautiful. The hair came out beautiful too. The way thank it looks just phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Will we move to the next one? Yeah. And I don't know if yes. you want to, you know, see. Oh, her, sure. oh I want to see that. And then yes. also while that's going on. Oh Matt, my goodness. Yeah, wow. it looks it looks, it looks, it looks better, better in person. <laughs> like it looks better in his hand. It's crazy. You know, the, the scans only do it so much justice, but I wanted to, yeah. you know, just in case yeah. the quality wasn't good or whatever it may be. Well, so. hey, Matt, you mentioned yeah. doing a giveaway. I actually would like to get that going so it could be running while we share the rest of the cards. Yeah, Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, I had uh, Simone sign some cards from my personal collection when we were here at MegaCon. And uh, what I've been doing lately, you know, if you buy a piece or, you know, whatever it may be, I like to throw something in as a nice gift. And having uh, Simone here, I chose I know what's one of his favorite characters to draw. And I think mm, I might be a little biased, but this character I think Simone might draw the best is uh, Sabretooth. So I had Ooh. Simone sign a matching set of uh, What If Tier 3 uh, Sabretooth base and Sabretooth uh, what if. Now, they're not pack pulled. I want to be very clear. Uh, they're just autographed by Simone. But anybody that would like to, uh, whatever you want to make the comment word, Justin, yeah. we'll give these yeah. away. And, and, and I'll, ship, I'll, I'll ship them I've out. Got hashtag Simone. There you go. And yeah, so put in your hashtag, hashtag Simone. We're going to keep the uh, giveaway tool running for the rest of the stream. And at the end of the stream, we'll we'll uh, we'll announce the winner. Uh, uh oh i lost it yeah um there is actually a certain uh, a, oh. yes yeah a, oh, i'm sorry about that <laughs> yeah a certain uh homage to to the art nouveau like you know alphonse musha is Musha's one of oh, musha so is good. Everybody is one of, of of our generation biggest influence, and every time we uh, draw, you know, especially hair or flowers and and, and uh, everything or anything that is alive and in motion, like flames too, we always try to give. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at. I'm I'm bad at a lot of things, but this one is one of the things. <laughs> that though so that's all the bad. Um, yeah. so yes it, there is definitely an homage to musha first and of course a little bit of claim too mm -hmm. if you see if you justin if you can put mm -hmm. the, the image on again if yeah. you see the type the jaw i mean the see the, the a very square square jaw woman which is like Judita in in the Gustav Klein uh, painting, which by the way I was really disappointed because for time for for the time being there was just one single uh, Gustav Klein painting uh, at the uh, right, Metropolitan. Metropolitan. Uh, yes, because it's it's just. But I think too. Anyhow, what, what this piece does too is that that jawline really sets the the tone for the piece it gives yeah. her, it gives her just an absolute you know stunner of a look so um not only is it a very you know a rarity to see simone do black cat but the way that it turned out i thought it was too good not to have you know uh broken live and be able to be shown so um what, which one do we got next justin okay let's do i don't want to say it i want to show it is that okay yeah sure all right I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, awesome, <laughs> that's uh that's my brother's favorite character, Gambit. The Raging Cajun. 
The Raging Cajun, Louisiana. Yeah. Love the way the eyes look, man. Yeah, he's yeah. charging. He's got his kinetic energy charging with the eye. Um, mm-hmm. I think to me, what I really love about Gambit that gets lost sometimes, or sometimes when I see him about it, Gambit's got to have the cowl to me. That yeah. you know, Gambit yeah, it's have true. The cowl, um, it gives him such a it gives him such a uh, unique look. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, for me personally, I, Gambit's my favorite X Men. Um, I don't collect X Men because you got to draw the line somewhere, and I'd be broke if I collected everything I liked. But uh, <laughs> He's sweet talking. He can steal anything, and boy, oh boy, is he powerful! So uh, I love the way Simone drew this, and I loved the uh, the background of the popped collar from his coat being, you know, in, in the uh, in the background there. Mm-hmm. So, and it's on uh, Marvel Masterpiece 2018 stock. So this was a uh, this was sent in by the collector, uh, you know, for it. He wanted it to be on an 18 stock, and he had a blank. And I think it turned out uh, absolutely stunning. And once again, I liked how Simone kept it within the uh parameters of the sketch card and uh-huh. really made it look cool yeah i tell you what, what i find so interesting yeah, is you know, the uh sorry i know that the the owner of this is is in the chat brian uh brian so congratulations man this is an absolutely beautiful card um it, in my opinion it was definitely worth the wait yes absolutely absolutely i love how you uh, like the, the the top lip is so dominant but it gives it so much attitude agreed yeah yeah. I think what I love the most about this is the like the jaw and the bone structure, the definition, how you did it with the shading. Mm-hmm. It looks it's pretty insane. <laughs> Thank you so very much. I saw Thank myself you. uh well, type, in, type in the chat. It's not too shabby. I mean it's not it's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not too shabby. <laughs> yeah, Brian loves it. Congratulations, yeah, Brian. It's absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful. I have, I have a question myself. Let's rip I A U S. Yeah. Are you Italian? I am I've just I'm just curious because he was catching some Italian word uh I heard him say that. Let's rip let's rip I think he said uh I something think he said about he might have lived in Italy at F. Oh okay. F F is not enough. Yeah, you got. <laughs> I'm, I'm only, you know, we're not. Nobody's. Nobody's perfect. Okay, I'm kidding. Uh, I, I was just curious. Okay, <laughs> we move to the very next one. Who oh, is? Oh. All right. So I chose this one because I can tell you for sure this is the only time Simone has ever drawn this character. Oh yes. And I love when you know because I'm a. If, for those of you that don't know, and I'm uh, I'm a. An obscure character collector myself. I collect Black Bolt. I would definitely say he's a C, you know, Marvel character. He's not. Yeah, nobody really, knows who he is at all. Yeah, yeah. not a lot of people know. Who he is. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Except Matt. No, which is great for me because I get great deals. You know, it's not Wolverine, which is phenomenal. No, but yeah, I, so cool. When I got the the character request back, I immediately went back to '90s X Men. The, the yeah. first thing that came into my mind was the 90s X-Men show and Lalandra. Th- this is just, I thought the way that Simone made the chrome pop, uh, the look he gave her, uh, the side eye, uh, I just really love this piece. So for those of you that don't know, you know, that's Lalandra. She's a, an X-Men character. Um, you know, 90s cartoon is from what I personally remember from, but I just that's thought it was a very unique character and I wanted it to be seen, you know, that, you know, of course, Spider-Man Wolverine, but can also be an amazing thing for Lalandra, who people that don't know the X-Men probably don't even know who she is, but it's a beautiful card. It's cool. Thank you. So thank you. Get this chrome. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Smalley. No, no, I was just thanking uh, Matt for, for all the nice, beautiful, um, introduction and explanation of the character who by the way i have to be honest when i yeah when i read the name on the list <laughs> i know i can't we, swear we can't say what he texted yeah. me but it was like who the <laughs> <laughs> but then i gotta be honest when i look up uh, i google her i rem- i uh recognize her on the spot because wow. Uh, as Matt said, she was very popular in the 90s. Mm-hmm. When I was re- uh, reading a lot of comic books and a lot of X-Men books, especially, 
So I I I remember that character uh, and I recognized that character right away. But I of course I uh, of course I couldn't put a face to a name. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. I simply didn't know the the name of the character. I just thought it it turned out great, and it was for me being an obscure character collector. I had to put her on here. I thought she looked really cool. Yeah, it's stunning. Yeah. The way the light, the turquoise with the lighting and the shadowing by the nose, it looks it looks amazing. It's yeah, insane. it's a good point because the back there where it turns to the turquoise and the chrome, uh, you could have very easily it could have just turned into a chrome blob, uh, you know, at the top where somebody kind of carries that silver all the way through and you lose, you know, the depth or where the light would shine off the chrome. So I love the turquoise on the top yeah. to give, you know, give it more depth. Uh, I yeah. just thought she turned out great. Thank you. I agree. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree. Again. <laughs> Again, I agree. Again. It looks okay. like the shading on the nose is like a dark turquoise though, right? Is that is that correct? Like the shading by it's like a real dark turquoise. Yes, there yeah. is actually a little it's got bit. Got a hint, uh, it's got a hint, so it's crazy how you use the turquoise yeah. to oh, give it shade in a darker form and then the brighter shade to give it the light. That's uh yes, that's there, masterful. Is, there is definitely a little bit of dark it's it's like regular turquoise but it's being um overlaid on a dark brown so that what makes the turquoise getting dark in the undertone yeah mm-hmm. the undertone. beautiful that is That's fantastic who's next who's next <laughs> who's next uh they're all great and it's not a it's not one that's yeah, not they're great. all amazing uh, i really this one's really uh got my attention I didn't know the way it would. Oh, this one. This oh. one. Wow. <laughs> I can't stand this one. I don't know who commissioned this piece, and it turned out so bad that I wanted to rip apart, and I will rip this one apart alive. It's, it it's mine, so he, you know, he really hated it. Uh, but uh, I thought I, I didn't have any uh, Marvel Premiere stock or a 2018 stock, but. I recently started collecting uh, the Scarlet Witch, and I was able to get a uh, WandaVision uh, blank. And I love Simone's take on the Scarlet Witch. Uh, yeah. I personally, you know, Wanda's cool, and, you know, I like the dark Scarlet Witch. Oh, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, by the way, what if you show all these nice folks the original? For Vision of Scarlet Witch? You got it here, right? Yeah, right here. So, okay, we'll finish up with this, the description of okay. this piece, which Matt is holding in his left hand right now. And now we do have a very special, it, it's, it's totally live. We didn't think about it. No. But um, Matt owns two, two very special, I mean, jokes aside, pieces really close to my heart, pieces I really do love. Few pieces I would buy back. No, but these two I would definitely rebuy them from Matt to frame it, not in silver, and, <laughs> and have it back home to my studio. And 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 it's not by chance that I did those. I I painted those two pieces for upper deck. For no day San Diego, last year San Diego in the summer 2002, yeah. 22. And oh, let, let, let's take a look at, at Wanda first. Yeah. So, so what, I, what I also really like about these is that they're the first ever premium fine art print that was produced by Upper Deck for oh, yeah. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Yeah. So yeah. they, you know, they're, they're, they're rare, but uh, I had a very great opportunity before uh, Lake Como convention. Uh, mm-hmm. Me and Simone were setting up and working, uh, you know, for the convention with his sister Gloria and these were on the wall. And, you know, I, I didn't even ask what they were for. To be honest with you, I didn't care. But I saw them back to back and I just, I had to have them. I didn't collect, this is my first Scarlet Witch piece I ever had, but number one, they're massive. But number two, they're just um, an absolute. They're, they're to me, and I don't know if Simone will get this, but they're a, they're a, a true like testament. Yeah. Simone really flexed on these. These are yes. absolutely stunning. I mean, the headshot in the back, um, the, her pose. Uh, it's just it, it's absolutely amazing. And as you can see, there is yeah, a right. clear there is a clear homage uh, to Gustav Klim mm-hmm. texturing in the background. 
Luis looks like he's crazy, right? <laughs> I, I, bro, I, I'm just, I'm just sitting here, just chilling. I'm just loving what I'm seeing, man. I'm, I'm like in awe, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> it's boy. amazing. Like everything's been crazy. The sketch cards, there, just is yeah. crazy. No, I'm sorry because I var varnished. Uh, no, 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 I varnished that. Oh yeah, it's true. Actually, yeah. Matt, yeah, varnished this. He gave me the spray can and was like, "Yeah, yeah. you do it." I was like, "My, I, my hands have never shaken more." <laughs> I was like, dude, I, I had Parkinson's, man. Oh, Fausto. Fausto! The holy Fausto! What's up, baby? Shaking. He goes, no, no, you can do it. So we're on his mm -hmm. balcony in his studio, and he shakes the can. He's like, just spray it. I, I'm like, gonna, I'm going to oh. ruin this thing. I'm, <laughs> he's like, you can't have it unless you do it. So I had to do it. I almost pooped my pants. I was so scared. I've never been more scared <laughs> in my whole life. I would imagine so. Yeah, but uh, hey, Fausto, how you been? Hey, my friend, how are you? So good to see you. It's so good to see you too. I'm, I'm doing. Are you gonna I'm, show us the vision? Yeah. And this oh is oh man, my boy got both of them. Let's go. Yeah. It's and again, it's a little, it's a little hard, yeah, but uh, the, for the reflection of the light because of the varnish. Wow. Then, they but go, when you put them like this, I mean, there's no, I mean, yeah. In black, in black or white frame. In a nice silver frame. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at those backgrounds. Look at that dystopian sci-fi. Like so yeah. art, so genius. Such I love that man. I love it so much. I love those pieces. Those it's different. Guys, it's different than everything else. It's like a breath. When I look at his art, it's like a breath of fresh air, man. Because it's nobody else has that style. Mm -hmm. That's you. what I love about it. It's 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 it's, 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 it's yours, I can't bro. thank you enough. And if I would be humble and modest, I would blush, but I'm not. No. So I want to do that. No, I'm kidding. Thank you. I mean, jokes aside, I think those two pieces we will just show you guys, which was yeah. a nice touch, right? Um, unbelievably it, beautiful. It's, it's, thank you. Thank you so much, Justin. I would definitely, I mean, in a perfect world, if I would win a lottery, I would come to a man and I would really. <laughs> buy those two well, if you win the lottery the price is double <laughs> and i don't give a uh, damn because i don't want a lottery and you would have won the lottery yes and just making more money and i will have my kids instead absolutely uh so the scarlet witch i loved her because she was beautiful she was strong but i like the dark scarlet witch with the chaos magic and she's yeah. not i like her as a villain dr strange multiverse of madness so i gave simone kind of free range on this i thought it turned out awesome um he killed it. That's great. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that was a quick one of that. But who's next? Because I, I, one of my, I can't wait to get to my that. Uh, I it was the next one that I couldn't wait because <laughs> this one personally might be my favorite from the group because I just love Doctor Strange. I love Simone's Doctor Strange. Yeah, I do love it. And the use of the cowl here of the cape uh, mm -hmm. as the background, the 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 flow of the cape. Uh, it it doesn't look flat to me. It, it's crisp. Um, you can see, you know, the gold from his kit. I just think the way that the hair, the gray hairs are mixed in with the white. Uh, he's just, he's awesome. It's just an absolutely awesome Team guy. claim. Claim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you got to talk to the guy that owns it. I love, I love the shadows. I love the lighting. I love how you got that cast of shadow from the ear. That is just like that harsh light. So, yeah. <laughs> so like, so, so. It's just like a presence, right? It's so powerful. Man, that's so crazy. And that is so crazy. When you think of Doctor Strange, that's what you want to kind of that's what you want to see. Yeah, you know? like this this is the master of the mystic arts. Like this is Doctor yeah. Strange. Oh yeah. 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 That's what I think of. And I this one was one of the ones I was very, very excited to show. I think it turned out absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Oh, it's sick. Oh, it's oh, got oh a Pierce you. Brosnan look to him as well, though, man. Yeah, he's, got the he's, he's, feel. Yeah. Right. I, got a little Pierce look to him, bro. Like, you I know, like the, the 007. It looks right. insane, dude. Yeah. It's true. I didn't notice before. And I, dude, as soon as I look at dude, I grew up watching the Pierce Brosnan, you know, all the 007 movies with my old man, and, and I see that, and that's what I see, man. I see a Pierce yeah, Brosnan yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Now that you pointed, I can see it too a little bit. But I mean, before before asking their um before I'm sorry, uh, answering the the question, this 
particular one, the Doctor Strange is literally half watercolor and half full acrylic because wow. the uh, skin tones on his cheek and the whole face it's it's watercolor and the the neck Oh, here, I take it yeah, no, 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 don't worry. And the neck, just to remember the neck. By the way, they're all going right back into a sleeve, into a plastic bag. Where I'm taking good care of everybody's things here. Nobody panic. Nobody <laughs> panic. Everything's fine. No stains or water. <laughs> if, there's, if there's anybody I trust with cards, it's Matt. Everybody, Matt is a G. Yeah, Matt is a G. Everybody, everybody sure. protected. I you know, you know, like I, I didn't think we needed to wear white gloves, but everything's protected. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and the rest of it, I mean, so the, the 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 skin tones on his face, his eyes, his chin, it's so and his mo mustache, mustache. Mm -hmm. Also, it's full watercolor, and the neck and the eye of Agamo Agamotto eye and the hair, it's full acrylic. So, whoever is gonna get this card, it's just uh, a mixed medium. Uh, literally, oh, and I want to be. I want to be clear. He does not know who owns this. Like he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't know. Like I just send him the list of characters to do so. Yeah. He doesn't know who. This Which I think to. it's. I mean, seriously, it's fair because. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's only fair because I'm putting the same level of uh, effort in every single car. Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, awesome. regardlessly, uh, or regardless. Whose card do, do you is? mind? Do you mind? It's Fausto. Do you mind what? It's Fausto. <laughs> do you mind what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I should have gone. I didn't know that. <laughs> he doesn't Dude, know. Big congrats, bro. That I'm, is. I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I mean, again, so Fausto. Uh, you you might know. You might. You, you might know the next one that's coming because yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to show I, I would love to show the thing I look at like every day. Okay, yeah, is it okay it. if I show yeah, the sure. show? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, do let, let me let me get this because I, I gotta show I gotta show you that's this. Let me get this. Okay, you get it and I'll make you big screen here. So yeah, yeah. take your time. Uh, remember I, everybody, I, uh we got a giveaway. If you guys what I look at every day. It would be uh, underrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a nice TV show. We okay. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to do hashtag Simone for the giveaway. You got it, buddy? Yeah, and the giveaway in the chat. I look at this all I tell Simone all the time when I see him and talk to him, to him and Gloria, I always say I look at this all the time. And it's been a long time now, so I can show it. So oh, oh! just absolutely stunning. I remember mm. this. Sure. Mm. Fausto, when when did I do this? Which year it was? I don't want to say. Because I love you, so I don't want to make anybody mad. But yes, you did this for me. <laughs> yeah. Listen, he doesn't remember either. Trust me. He doesn't like, remember. Okay, twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty yeah. twenty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. But wow. this, this was this was this was like a birthday gift to me, yeah. and you know, I I asked, and he was banned at the time, and I, I found a blank that could be on it. First masterpieces sketch card and. He did the negative space, the Kirby dots, the, yeah, the, the breaking of the skin, which I love so much. It's, it's just it's my favorite piece. It's my favorite piece in my collection. And it's Fausto. Oh, so it's absolutely beautiful. And thank you for showing. But the, the surfer can get really screwed up. He's hard to draw. He's very and hard to draw. I think what no. and I think what Simone does better than anyone. And, and once again, I'm maybe biased, but uh, the energy that he draws. Yeah. With the surfer, plus uh, there's a there's a silver surfer cover and a silver surfer commission that you did for Locke, where he's phasing. Oh yeah, the board. yeah. It, it, when when you draw the feet going into the board, into the board, it's the best. It's, it's the, the best. best. Okay. The okay. Best. But there's another character who can easily be messed up, and it's Ghost Rider. Oh yeah. No, no, yeah. 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 You know why? Yeah. This is some this is an inside joke. Yeah. But I guess maybe Luis knows something about this. Maybe <laughs> it might be the only one. It's it's just an inside joke. And the I, I promise you guys, Fausto, Luis, and Justin, 
little by little we will reveal what this old yeah, uh, we'll Ghost we'll Rider we'll jokes is we'll about. Do, we'll do yeah. a before and after and in between. And yes. We'll, and we'll reveal. That's but awesome. yeah, it's, it's, a good it's, 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 it's going forever for, uh, from between me and uh, man. How's it going yourself? <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, <laughs> the surfer is absolutely beautiful. And I, I hope he comes back into um, you know, circulation and be able Simone to Simone knows. Simone yeah. knows I have a fund. Every month I put money to the side oh, just sure. for Simone Surfer. Right, yeah. Every so, month. Yeah. I've been doing it I've been Trust doing it for me. three two, two, three years now. Every month I put money in the in the savings for you. Always. I, I, I do mean, love that, that that is something that I mean seriously. Always. Oh, no, that is not. something that really touched me. Yeah. When you told me the story, say I mean just I told you, I told yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember just the idea that somebody loves uh, it's not about money. It's just the idea of somebody uh, loving your heart so much to do a little sacrifice, which for somebody it's a huge sacrifice. It's something that it, I mean, it says um, it's the ultimate proof of love for what I do, which there's no money to you know. There's no money to it. It's just uh, I can't thank you enough. Oh, and and I promise you, Fausto, you will get the peace of your life. I I promise. Yeah. Well, we'll, awesome, we'll make sure. And I want to I want to address because I see the Rider ninety five here. It's not about the character of Ghost Rider. It's about how some people draw it. Because I personally, think, yeah, I think Ghost Rider is a complete badass. He's the chains, the flaming skull. I, I love it. He's awesome. And his I Ghost love Rider, the character. His Ghost Rider from Marvel Masterpiece 2018, I tried to buy it because that was one that was in uh, Italy. Luca? Yeah, so I wasn't able to see it before I went because it was so it was so beautiful. I don't even remember who bought that piece. You don't remember who bought that piece. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys mind if I piggyback off of Fausto real quick? Because I did get something very special from Fausto uh, not, uh, maybe a couple months ago, two, three months ago. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and uh, this, this is, basically. This is, <laughs> bro, when, when I found out, you know, we, me and Fausto were having a conversation, a video chat, uh, and he showed me he had this. I had to have it. I was like, bro, like this would complete my Spider Man collection. Oh, I know. But, what this uh, is. Yeah, this is a beauty. Oh, An absolute beauty. I Do you remember, can, can you give us a little bit of the story on this one, Simone? It's awesome. Uh, when, uh, we uh, when did I do this? That was a <laughs> that was one of the very first APs Simone did. Oh, yeah. two uh, two thousand and twenty one. No, eighteen. Eighteen. 18. Yeah. Wow. So this, this, one, one, this one says nineteen on the back. I don't 19. know if that's one of the first. Yeah. Yes, it it's was, one of the first that I did through Upper Deck. Yeah. Yeah. Like right. right after when we did the op. Yeah. Yeah. So when yeah. you know, wow. I was able to get this from Fausto, can, and it's can, it, I, can I see it from this is. Like um hundred percent acrylic, there's no watercolor, and but it, I, I always try at least try, I, I don't know if I always succeed, to respect some uh key elements. So as you can see, the composition is still stays perfectly within the logo, you know, yeah. and the and the yeah. The, the border of the card. The border. <clears throat> and, it's just clean. It's just and, clean, man. Yeah. Oh, and it's and it's one of those point of view that I love drawing Spider-Man from. And every time, of course, trying to play around uh, as much as I can with lights and yeah. shadows. As you can see, there's a little slight light from from underneath. So that creates a little bit of a shadow, of course, uh, on the top of his nose, on the back of his head, and of course the spider sense going on yeah. over his <laughs> yeah. head. It's tingling. It's tingling, but again, <laughs> in a, like in a meaning, hopefully in a meaningful way around the card and around the ornament all over the card. Um, That's beautiful. Justin, I it's saw definitely, you. definitely one yeah, of my yeah. treasures in the collection, man. Yeah. I love this thing. And big shout out to Fausto for giving me the opportunity to be able to acquire it, man, because I wasn't around in 2018, 2019. So, so I want to answer this question. It's up. Simone is not currently open for commissions for, uh, you know, 
any type of 11 by 17, 18 by 20, anything he's got. He's got such a, a list. And uh, I always say Gloria, his sister, she's she's the list keeper. Uh, I would recommend reaching out to info at SimoneBianchiArt.com. Uh, say you want to end. Listen, there's, I'm going to be very honest. With, yeah, it's, it's, you're going to be two, three years out, but throw your name on and, you know, we'd love to help you as much as we can. But uh, if you're interested in some things that you've been seeing here, maybe uh, stay tuned towards the end of the stream and uh, we'll go from there. So, now, I mean, Matt explained the whole thing perfectly. Gloria, she handles uh, the, the commission list, which is not a handling because there's no, there's no time. The, 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 um, uh, uh the reality of it is that as soon as i'll be back in italy in a few days i will have to start working on a comic book project interiors wise whoa yes yeah. she's gonna take a long i mean at least a year and a half so uh, and doing that while doing that um, our plan uh, me gloria and matt is to to be able to have at least one cover done every month, either Marvel, DC, Image, whatever. And so between working on the pages, I have to do the, uh, it's a it's a creator own project, first of all. So it's me yeah. and a super close friend of mine, writer, one of the best writer in the business ever, a super close friend of me and Matt, uh, really a, like a, a friend. Yeah, yeah the capital a F, a gentleman. A gem of a man. Yeah. Um, uh, so I have to do that and I have to focus 100% on that and and still want to be able to do, a, to draw and paint at least one cover a month, which, as you can easily understand, it doesn't leave any time. Mm any and, and any also, time at all to 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 do it and really back home me oh, and yeah, gloria we do have met met saw it so he can testify it's the real deal it's like a, a, a three pages this big with with names and list of characters and um and i want to and i want to be clear you know he's being you know my, yes he's doing a create your own project and yes he's you know but then he has had to put a ton of work into the exhibition. He'll still be doing Marvel DC image. And then you have to factor in guys um, going to conventions, building that into a schedule next year. Um, the best way I can say to try to get a commission is when Simone is announced to be going at a convention. Uh, we do breakfast opportunities. I know a couple people here have been to them. Uh, Lu Luis, uh, Louis, uh, Justin have, um, we also do dinner opportunities. Those are going to be your best chance to be able mm -hmm. to get a because that's when Simone's here. That's when the pieces are able to be done because when he's coming to the States. Um, so when you see those opportunities, you know, uh, reach out to me, uh, Detulia Art Collective on Instagram, uh, reach, you know, reach out uh, through social media. We'll try to launch them, whatever. Right now there's not, you know, anything set in stone, um, but I would love for Simone to be able to crank out commissions. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately with the things he has going on and, and uh, the future of things going forward, uh, it's just not, in the cards right now it's just and uh, like it's it's and what's important to note for everybody who might be new to this because there's a lot of people who collect cards in here when you're talking about original art Same this thing. is normal this is yeah. this is what it is and the fact that matt and simone go out of the way to do this breakfast to do the dinner it is it is i can't stress i can't stress enough how rare of an opportunity it is to even do that with an artist especially someone like simone i'm very thankful you that because we, we had a conversation recently and uh someone said do you think we might be doing it too much like be offering <laughs> these breakfasts or days i looked right at him i said you have thousands tens of thousands hundreds <laughs> of, of fans and yeah. we do 12 slots for the breakfast and four slots for the dinner that means we're crossing off 20 fans we could do these until you're a hundred and they would never stop <laughs> never not sell it not. Out. and oh, Simone, Simone is, I'm, glad, um, I'm very glad you, you brought that up because it is guys it is a rare opportunity and to be able to not only get the piece but you know coming from Justin and, and Luis I'll let them speak but the the atmosphere and, and being in it it's it's just such a great experience I can't thank Simone enough for being willing to do them because it's just so cool and you know I get to see him. he's at my house right now and I'm you know feel <laughs> Plus, when I go and see the other collectors and myself opening these boxes and getting their piece, it's just such a cool opportunity. It's it's a truly, yeah. truly, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity. So if you have 
the ability, I would I would try to get to one because they're just so much fun. They're they're fun. Well, be, being with Simone is worth the price of admission. The the art that you receive is the bonus. Right? I, it's, well, it's, no doubt, the experience is experience is on another level, man. And until you have uh, one of his pieces, one of his painted pieces in your hand, like once you get it, it you, you're pretty much done because you're. More of it, man. It's addicting, man. It really is. Uh, next it's level. Easiest spot. Tim's coming. He's, he's who you did panels for. I know. Yeah. I know Tim. Yeah. 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 So, um, I know. remember him. He's from New York. He's, he's yeah. from New York. So, I, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you for, you know, to Simone for being able to do that. And for everybody in the chat here for Justin's channel and anybody that's, you know, enjoying mm -hmm. Marvel comic book art, um, it, it's, it's an amazing thing. So, um, yeah. I'm glad that. Just three more cards to show. Yeah, I was gonna say. So I want to say, can we keep? We gotta move on to the cards because we got a few more to show here. Yeah, sorry, Matt. I didn't know, it sounded like you're signing off. I was like, no, no, we got three I more. Don't know, to show. No, I was just <laughs> signing off on this aspect to move to more cards. Yeah, got it, got it. All right, because okay. because they're so good, we got to show them. Yeah, That's they're so good. Show. Okay, um, we're gonna do this one next. Oh yeah, big oh, big wow. red, big red, big red, Miss Medusa. Oh, she's stunning. She's absolutely stunning. So my favorite part about this, and I know I'm jumping the gun. I'm so sorry. Don't hate me. Is that Medusa, Medusa is known for her hair. The smartest decision is done here where you have this beautiful section of hair in front and then the negative space. It is yeah. like, it's, it's so smart because it's like, it's such a massive part of her character that having that negative space makes the front area so much louder, so We're much more high. vibrant. Yeah, so good, man. It's so much space, fun. Bro. The writer, you reach out to me on Instagram through Detulio Art Collective or on Facebook, uh, Matt Detulio. Um, I'm the one that puts them together, and I can get you on a, uh, I can get you on a list for when we announce them, and I'll let everybody know. And that's the best way to go forward to do that. Okay, so uh, as Matt said, I really do not have the slightest clue who I did this for, <laughs> but uh, th this the Medusa one is one of my favorite. By yeah. far, like I re I would keep this one for, for myself. The only thing they're getting a little dirty. In yeah, the so we the, need to clean it. I, I want people uh, no, to it's, it's my scanner. There's oh, okay. On her nose, if you zoom in, there's a little dot there. Um, uh -huh. as I was yeah, moving, I was trying to see as I was moving there's... pieces in and out. It, there's just a little speck. That's not actually there. I just didn't have time to to rescan the card, so. That little speck on the white part of her nose, that's not actually there. It's just a debris from the scan. Okay. Okay. A debris. You want to share the card in the, yeah. uh, the actual card? Yeah. One of my favorite things of this stream is watching Simone try to put the card to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you beautiful. guys. You yeah, guys. You, it. you guys laughing, but it's not easy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Facial Simone. expression is great on this one, man. Like, it's so good. Simone, so I have to ask a question because you do this thing. With a lot of your characters, and I've all I, I I've been wanting to ask, your eye shapes are so different from anybody else's eye shapes. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's like I I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not you know what I mean? It's not like just the oval. It's like the whole bone structure and stuff is like emphasized in the eye shape. It's just so cool. I was just wondering, like, what me <laughs> like? Did you was there another artist? You know, I know you you like Mob Mobius and stuff like that. Oh. Was there something? Was it something from there that you looked at? Because I love that you do that. Uh, that's a very, very interesting question. And uh, uh, no, I don't think it's coming from Moebius, though. So many uh, details and aspects of my work it, they directly come from Moebius. The eyes, I, it's just. Um, it's something that I came up pretty much on my own. The only guy who I really look close up to, the way he is doing and he was doing ice, it was uh, Adam Mukes. But then in the end, if you see the way Adam draws eyes, both female and male, and Adam. the way I do, and, and the way I do, it's just two completely different things. Yeah, yeah. But if I have to think to one comic book artist that really influenced the way I draw the eyes, it might be Adam. And I don't know, like, you know, sometimes, um, yeah, derpa, derpa, do. 
<laughs> I, I will love. I will love another sim. You know what? I was. I was. Um, um, I was taking a nap because you know I'm like the Italian prince of the nap. Simone is the, <laughs> the Italian prince of napping. Right before coming here, and while I was falling asleep, I knew I was coming here. I was gonna see all of you guys, and I was sure that this question, question. would have come up, <laughs> and. And honest to God, guys, under the right circumstances, I would absolutely love to do another one. Yeah, but, you would love but, that. No, I mean, seriously. We need it. That, yeah. that would be I'm, awesome. I'm going to clip him saying my name, highlighted my mug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but under, under one's um, condition. condition. Yeah, condition. Yeah. Under one condition. condition. So, yeah, sometimes I forget words in Italian. Yeah. And English. He's Doesn't been matter. saying the English word and he can't remember the Italian word. I'm like, it's, You're... It, no, I mean, when, when I'm for more than two or three days in the States, uh, the language starts to start mm -hmm. switch off from one to another. But it's weird. Tell them the condition. The I... condition, I mean, not seriously, under just one undeniable condition of having more time. Yeah. Doing 135 paintings, I also would have a, a huge, how do you say, cats, how do you say, when you when you when you have something that it, it's not a spoiler, it's something that it was supposed to happen and it didn't happen, but I can't say mm. there was a guy. A great artist, a great painter. Who was supposed to do this? Ah, uh, okay. And I can say who he is. And I push him. And I told him, go for it. Do it. But then in the end, being the beep that he is. <laughs> we're not swearing. We're not swearing. Thank you. <laughs> he, he finally decided not to. Um, but again, I, I would definitely redo it again. But with uh, with more time, yeah, and I think, and I think, to 135 paintings in what 18 months? 14 months. Okay, so 14 months. I mean, uh, coming from somebody who's been lucky enough to watch them, I start from uh, a blank thing to underpaint to do it. I mean, I I hope everybody understands, no matter what artist it is that's doing this, the amount of time, effort, and passion they put in to each piece to make it to create mm -hmm. it because. It enveloped. You have to understand when they do that. There's no Marvel covers. There's no DC covers. There's no image covers. There's no anything but masterpiece. And that's what envelops your life for over a year. And I think, you know, Upper Deck, if they could give a little bit more time to some of these artists, we'd be able to get some other names that would be willing to do it because that is an intent for to have a, a fully painted piece for every single card. It is a labor of love, man. It is an intensive experience. And anybody who's been honored enough to do, because I do believe doing a Marvel Masterpiece sets an honor. Um, Big honor. 100%. Big on it. Yeah. It is also, a, a, it shows the dedication that they have to their craft and what they're willing to do. Because to crank it out in the time frame that, that's given and what's able to be done, it, it's it's very impressive. So uh, anybody who's ever done a set, whether it's, you know, Boris, Julie, Jusco, uh, Dos Santos, Palumbo, who's ever been doing them, th they all deserve an immense amount of credit because they dedicate their lives to this card set for basically two years. And it, it is a, uh, it's it's a real big deal. So maybe we get upper deck to give Simone like 18 months and see if we'll do it again. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Two years. Well, I mean. Two years. Two years. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they as waited three years to release it anyway. Much, as much time as he wants. Let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Justin, hit me, hit me with the next one. Yeah. You ready, bud? Okay. Uh, we got two more, and they are definitely worth the wait, my, my friends. And uh, we're going to hit with another female. Beautiful. Okay, so Fausto, what you Ooh. just talked about, <clears throat> the eye. I think the eye here is phenomenal. Um oh, I, I really like the way Simone draws Betsy. Um, first off, she's a very cool character. She's oh, yeah. sexy. She's a badass. She's, I mean, she cuts you in half with a psionic blade. Um, but the the attitude that this piece has, is uh, I really thought it was something to be able to put on here and needed to be debuted rather than just on you know a social media channel or something. I just think this piece is phenomenal. And I love the shadow in the background 
the white line that breaks right above her hair that then gives depth with the back. Uh, I just love this piece, and I love the way Simone draws Psylocke, the uh, one Uncle Roberto owns from the Dennis Gallery. Yeah, the, the vertical piece. The vertical piece. One of the best painting. I love that painting. Really? I love that. He painting. drove me crazy that painting. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I know it sounds funny, but it, it, it wasn't when I when I was working on it. It was really a lot of work. Wow. It, 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 it gets out of focus. I'm trying to find the focus level here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah but she's just uh, – there we go. Oh, there you go. She's just absolutely awesome. But Beautiful. I, I, uh, do we all agree that Matt is even worse than me trying Not to even close. <laughs> <laughs> Can't so much better than you. Can we just go agree? Okay, I think it's I think it's even. I think just, we're even. Yeah, we're both bad. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, I'll <laughs> take that. Okay. Both is, yes. Okay, we do yeah. have a la last one. Last one. Last this one. Is, uh, Which one? Uh, ready? Right. They're ready. Uh -huh. um, Victor, this guy, I mean, the, Simone is the man. Uh, and when he draws Dr. Doom, it really speaks to me. I have a couple Doom pieces from Simone. Um, I just, I love Dr. Doom personally. So this was a pure personal pick. I just was picking, yeah, that's uh, Jacob. I mean, I just think Doom, the rivets of the mask being done in the white out, uh, the white of his eye the you know vertical slats over the mouthpiece the hood and then i love that the two um you know medallions for the cape are here uh so i just thought this one turned out absolutely amazing and i just said doom's got to go on he's got to be one of the ones that we that we show now since you're so good at it i'll let you the it. infinite infinite collector are we not showing mine or did i miss what is uh, who, who's i'm i don't know who's that well that's the human toy well, he's a black widow collector but i don't know oh, yeah, yeah, yeah i have it right here okay and then we got one more but yeah yeah <laughs> he was like excuse me you're missing one hey, Simone, let me ask you something on this with like the mouth and the jaw did you get because it, it kind of feels like a samurai it feels samurai-ish to me did you kind of give it that that twist to yeah. it yeah there is <laughs> i can't find it uh, it's not working. Oh, there it is. No, 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 Luis, you you were on spot with the samurai thing. Um, I love samurai, as you can see. So, so every every now and then, I've tr I, I'm trying to uh, incorporate some of those samurai samurai um, elements uh, into my own Marvel or superhero. Okay. okay, to the next. Uh, yeah, guys, I didn't, I didn't scan or just to be clear, I didn't scan all 15. I just didn't have to be honest. I didn't have the time. So if yours isn't shown and you were part of this, um, you know, it's still done. I just didn't have time to scan it all in and have everything, you know, ready for the show. But I did, I saw that the Black Widow collector you said was in here. So I wanted to show this one. Did I send you a scan of this, Justin, or no? Uh, no. Uh -uh. Okay. So I have it here. Uh, it's, I, I love this one and I love the way. I'm gonna do my best to get it. So this is for Justin? No, no, this oh. is for. Uh, <laughs> no, it's for. Uh, this is for Izzy. Yeah, a separate collector. So, um, I love the oh way they incorporated oh my the logo here. The logo <laughs> is absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Look how beautiful the <laughs> face is, bro. Jeez, that's yeah. fine. See, it's not that good. Uh, uh, oh, now oh. you got it. Man, face is stunning, bro. Wow. He incorporated the logo. And I'm trying to get like the different uh like perspectives here because the the brush strokes of the hair on on something this fine is is just very impressive. And um I just I thought the logo really made the piece. Yeah, it, it's yeah. all for me. <laughs> yeah, it's all for me. <laughs> Congrats, bro. Very nice. Thank Congrats, you so man. much. Yeah, so wow. I think, it's all I for think me. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to have everybody in here to get a, a vibe of what Simone is is capable of and with the effort and time he puts into these. And uh, you know, before we we do the giveaway, we have a, a little bit of a special announcement to make here. Um, while Simone's here, we've been chatting, and since he did have such a you know good time doing these and he enjoyed them, um, he is gonna be taking another 15 slots. Ooh. So 
you guys that are in the chat tonight are getting very first priority. But but hear me out. But with all that we said moving forward, um, they will be done in December or January. So yeah. what we're gonna do now is they're gonna be. I will go over the pricing here. I can also type it in the chat so you have it. Uh, the sketch card commissions are eight hundred U.S. dollars. There's a four hundred dollar deposit up front, and then four hundred dollars once they're done in December and January. And you guys just heard, yeah. Just uh, I'll get to the claim section. It's a message me directly on Instagram, uh, the Tulio Art Collective. Um, I'll be taking care of it and making the list, passing it to, to Gloria and Simone. But with everything you guys just heard, it was a perfect precursor. So um, he's very busy. He has a lot going on. So we need to have this time frame for them to be able to be done. If they get done sooner, great. But if they don't get done until the end of January, uh, that's the time frame. We are also um, having the collector provide the blank. What we found out on this sketch up was some people like a certain blank or they have certain stocks or things that they need. Matt, can you show mine, please? I, uh, who are you? Sorry. Keith. if you want it. Oh, yes. I wasn't going to show Keith's, but since we did just do the app, I wasn't going to show it for the sole reason. Sometimes collectors justin being one of them <laughs> yeah i always get in trouble uh, no 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 no, no. <laughs> and these were busts that's the commission that's what's going on but it's all artist discretion and when simone feels that he wants to do a piece a certain way that's what happens um this piece is for Keith. It's absolutely beautiful. I we're not guaranteeing these. If they get done this way, they get done this way. Um, but this is an absolute stunner. Um, it's uh, oh my three quarter dark Close your eyes. <laughs> my eyes are burning. Uh, it's it's abs an absolute beauty. It's you know Jean at her utmost power. She's just awesome. And, <laughs> You know, Justin, if, for those of you that don't know, he was at a breakfast and they were headshots and he chose Black Suit Spider-Man and a three-quarter figure was what appeared. <laughs> uh, so sometimes that happens. Well, you know, you'll roll the dice and see if artist's choice, if Simone wants to, uh, you know, take a different perspective or, uh, you know, have a different avenue of how he wants to present the character, or present the piece. Um, so, you know, with that being said, Keith, I know you're very happy. I'm very happy. Uh, you're happy. I know Simone is as well. Uh, but back to the to the sketch shop here, guys, is, you know, we want to be clear. Um, the, the the blanks would need to be sent to me by like, you know, September. I need them in the next like month if you claim a spot so I can start compiling. I'm going to put your name, address, phone number on a, you know, like a card sleeve. Um, so they'll all be good. Then the next time when I travel to Italy, I'm going to leave them, you know, with Simone and Gloria. And then at his time frame and he can start working. Um, we'll do that. So I'm going to type a couple things in the chat here, just a little bit of the rules, where to send the messages to, and uh, we're only taking 15 slots. So they're first come, first serve. That's the way we try to keep it the fairest. We don't want, you know, anybody coming in and buying all 15 of them and then doing no, whatever, no. you know, how that goes. So um, we want everybody to have, you know, equal chance here. And as you guys just heard, we're not promising any future sketch ops or anything with the look workload that he has going on. So it's a very unique opportunity. And if it's something you're interested in, you can reach directly out to me on Instagram at the Tulio Art Collective. I'll be making a post about it tomorrow. But for the loyal Spidey Hits uh, viewers and the loyal Marvel community, we wanted to do something special for you guys. So um, wow. that's kind of a little bit so of a awesome. big drop. So I hope everybody's excited. And uh, I'm going to type a couple things in the chat for you. You do that. I'll uh, I'll get the giveaway up up and going. But I do I want to be on that list. Tonight. <laughs> you gotta get it to the Instagram. Hit me up. You uh, know me. Hit, 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 hit yeah. him up, guys. Simone, is there is there a card stock that you I know it's difficult, you know, to, to do uh commissions on a sketch card, but, but is there a card stock that you prefer to work on? No. Okay. Really? No, no, no. I'm I'm um, I was. Th I actually thought about this when I first realized that they were they were different in in thickness and mm -hmm. but they all were good with both watercolors and and acrylics and color pencil too. 
and especially the thick one. The Mar uh, the Marvel Premier stock. The yeah. Marvel Premier stock, they can hold on pretty much everything. I was nervous about the, th the thin no, one. No, 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 they're all good, really. Um, it makes no difference to me. Of course, the thick one are, again, are, they're all, they're all, they're, they really make no difference to me so far. Uh, so how would, how would, how Ash, would <laughs> Ash is, Ash is a phenomenal uh, Marvel sketch card artist. Uh, just because of that now, what I'm posting tomorrow for premiere. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ash, thank you, Ash. That's awesome. Ash does some phenomenal work for those of you that don't know. Uh, absolutely phenomenal artist. Ash. Okay. Thank you, Ash. Um so no, really, there, there, there may it makes no difference to me. So, um, oh, that is the um, the giveaway. The giveaway. This is the giveaway. So, uh, give everybody a couple of more uh, seconds here to get in hashtag Simone. Okay. Uh, Matt has been so gracious. He's got two amazing uh, 2018 uh, uh, saber tooths that are been signed by Simone, not pack pulled, but still, if you if, you, if you've seen his signature, you don't care. Like it's incredible. Signature is a work of art in its own. Mm -hmm. Yep. One hundred percent. Um, if you are the lucky winner, make sure you take a screenshot of of your name and on the screen. And Matt, I'm going to have them message you on your Instagram that you yep. have already mentioned. Uh, that way, they can verify it. If for some reason your social media on Instagram and your YouTube are not the same. You know, we'll we'll do the work to uh, yeah, figure I out. Just, I you. just posted in the chat, Justin. I don't know if you'll see it. Yeah, and then right below it. So the there's just the brief instructions. It's got I gave everybody uh, Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can go to my Facebook. And if you don't have Facebook, you can send me an email. So we're trying to work with everybody here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't assume that these will make it past you know tomorrow. So if you're interested, please reach out to yeah. me. Um, and I think they're going to, you know, as we just seen, I think, you know, Simone is doing some of the, uh, as Justin, I think Mesh is in peak form. So, uh, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be really awesome. And one thing about Simone is we've had this conversation a lot is, uh, he's very keen on this. And I love this since he's told us me, it's always something that sticks with me in art. You either, you never want to stay where you are. You either want to progress or you start to regress. You can't mm -hmm. stay the same. And not only since I've been working with Simone, but throughout his career, something that I've admired that he's always done is he's always progressed. He's always looking for new techniques, new ways, new mediums, new uh, commissions, sketch cards, big, you know, card set, whatever it is to keep moving forward in his career and keep delivering uh, absolute original art. So in all honesty, like I'm not kidding around, I'm not like joking around. Thank you because it's, it's, Thank it's, you. it's very, it's I am very trying to, I am trying to go to move forward and it's, it's not always easy. Sometimes to in order to move forward, you have to do some step backward first, you know. So it's not like a smooth path. He has his bumps, but yeah, that's definitely what I'm trying to do every single morning when I wake up and I go upstairs to my studio. So thank you so much for all of you guys for putting up with me and Matt. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's always it's always nice and fun and really um, a privilege for me to realize how many people enjoy what I do and and sometimes I'm in a point in my um, professional life where of course money it's always important but appreci appreciation and you know, and you know like. Uh, the feeling of what I'm getting from fans, nah, thanks, it's way more important than money itself in the first place. So well, Simone, your, your humility and your gratitude is part of what makes your art even more attractive. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think I thank you. And I think it's, uh, this is brilliant. I will steal this from you, Justin. And use it for future interview because it's true. I mean, it's it is very true that part of the gratitude and the joy that you guys giving me, I will try mm -hmm. to save those energies and put in every next drawing or painting. So, yeah, it's it's you just nailed it perfectly. So I can't thank you enough. And hopefully now, Mr. Detulio will. Yeah, let's hit the giveaway. Uh, you ready, guys? Okay, we're ready. Draw. All right, everybody, best of luck to you.
Let's go. Ooh. See a lot of good names going by. Yeah. I pull wire. Congratulations. Congrats. You know, Yo. I don't know who that who they is. is. Or maybe I do, but I don't know their YouTube name. So, uh, Justin, if you know who that is, if you could have them reach out or you you send them to me, uh, just show you here. This is what you got coming. You got a what if uh, saber tooth tier three and a what if base. Uh, signed by Simone, a uh, little bit of a matching set here. Just something cool. I wanted to give back, do a little thank you here. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I want to give a big shout out to, you know, everybody that's here. Uh, Fausto, Luis, you guys are you guys are just amazing, especially Justin, you know, for taking the time and putting okay. this together on short notice, man. Course, man. Um, it's it's always a pleasure, boys. It's always uh, a pleasure. Same goes for me, of course. And, I mean, as much as I love doing this thing through video, and it's it goes without saying doing this in person and being able to see mm -hmm. each other in the eyes and talk one to another in person i mean it's it's just something different and it's and it's priceless so i'm honestly looking forward to see each and one of you louis uh justin and uh fausto Soon as possible. And I promise you, right when this ends, I'm gonna crack a beer, to be honest, and then I'm gonna check my Instagram and my Facebook. <laughs> Can I ask one question before we go? And it's been on my mind the whole night. Sure. Well, we had the pleasure of seeing Simone at the OA convention in Orlando the beginning of next year. It, it's not a hundred percent confirmed yet. Um I can't break any news that's not mine to break, but oh, fair enough. Okay, my bad. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see nothing. We, we don't know. We okay. don't know nothing. I, I, swear to God, I didn't understand the question. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that thing's sweet. Oh. The cars don't do it justice. No, no, right. no. not they at all. Do it uh, look at the silver frame. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> To be able to, and the guys, like I said, to paint something, but to, even he only painted nine of these this size, but in 18, I mean, I couldn't paint nine of these in nine years of uh -huh. something this size. So, um, you know, being able to, you know, even, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, even able to see the original art here, um, the pleasure that I have to own it. I know everybody here on this chat has had, has some piece of original for Simone. Please reach out to me. This is a great opportunity. Uh, we'd love to bring some great art to some great collectors. And overall, guys, once again, just thanks. This is this is a great. It's it's a great time. <laughs> it's like Maverick. Uh, yeah, make sure to follow the uh, go. Art Collective on Instagram. Matt, he, he's an unbelievable follow. Definitely a place you want to stay in touch with all things going on with Simone. If you're, uh, you're already following Simone, but if you're not, be doing so, uh, guys. Thank you. This is this to your home. You're welcome anytime. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, sir. Much appreciated. Yeah. Great to see Ciao, everyone. gentlemen. I love yeah. you so much. Enjoy. Much love, guys. Likewise, Ciao. baby. Be good, Dude. man. And everybody, we're going back live in just a second for the Marvel show, which is right after this. So we're going to end this stream, go live on the Marvel show. So we've got a lot to talk about there, too. So come hang out. Everybody, thank you for watching this. And as always, hope you have a marvelous day. <laughs>